this is Taylor from Galaxy Nectar and I've been using this Moto GP if you could see that and it's running on Oreo so what makes it different and is it good let's find out today and as always let's get started so it's still running on version 8.0 not the latest one which is 8.1 but still it's not a big deal considering the fact that it was just released few weeks back so i think it might take some more time for the developers but still hey we have oreo and of course we have the cute little octopus which is the easter egg for android version o it doesn't come pre-installed with the pixel launcher but you can always sideload it by installing it as an apk i'll try to link that in the description down below in general the ui was pretty smooth and i didn't experience any major lags just in terms of looks it looks exactly like a pixel phone so i was very much impressed those little details like the weather widget i know that has been in a lot of phones before but i never really cared to use but this look just made me use it more and more and I find it refreshing. And with the beautiful weather out there, it just makes things even better. And then comes my second favorite thing, the glance screen feature. I know it's just the always on display on an LCD screen which should be draining battery even more but the implementation is so perfect here that I couldn't stop using it. It is so helpful when you are busy doing some work and you get notifications that you could just glance at the screen to know who has sent that and to decide if you should ignore or respond to that. But wait. Anyways, moving on. The hidden LED light present inside the earpiece also lights up while charging. And along with that, on the lock screen we get some charging info such as the temperature, the voltage and the estimated time remaining to complete the charge. And now this is my most favorite feature, which dynamically changes the color of the notification shortcut while using any music player. It changes according to the color on the album art and this just looks amazing. It is so good that I almost replaced my iPod with this phone for listening to music. And this continues even on the lock screen. I know this is not a very big feature but little things like this makes the experience a lot more better. The one and only reason why I hate stock android is the lack of customization options. Few things like customizing the navigation bar, adding a network speed meter matters a lot to me. Thankfully here we have a lot of options in the name of extensions. It also allows us to customize the navigation bar according to our personal preference so that we can change the layout as per our liking. And we can even customize the way the clear all button looks like. And I also like the new Oreo's refreshed storage manager. And we've also got few gestures along with Moto's very own double twist and chop chop gestures. So the karate chop, turn on and turn off the flashlight and double twist to open up the camera still work fine. And something new which I noticed was the battery efficient GPS mode which turns on the location access services only when needed and thereby it just saves some juice in the battery. And also the notification dots feature works fine here, which tells you that an app has received a notification with the help of a tiny little dot. So before moving to the cons, let me tell you some more good things about this ROM, like providing a quick shortcut to take screenshots. This handy feature 
might be helpful to a lot of people especially for those like me whose volume keys are unfortunately not working and for someone like me who takes a lot of screenshots this is a must have it also comes with an inbuilt night light filter which basically turns the brightness all the way to zero and it just adds a warm tint to the screen and it was very useful especially at nights when i was actually supposed to sleep anyways and now let's talk about the battery life i was able to get a maximum screen on time of about 4 hours and on an average it varied between 3 to 3 and a half hours which is not great but okay and it also has support for fm radio for all those who still listen to radio and something surprising it also has support for volte So I've been using this custom ROM for about 4 weeks now and I have to say that I'm pretty much impressed with this one. I generally don't use any custom ROMs for more than 2 weeks for the fact that it always has a lot of bugs in it. But this turned out to be a surprise because I used it for about a month. So does that mean that it has no bugs and no cons at all? Hell no. All the cons started to show up once I started using this phone as my primary phone. I mean, the one and only phone. And starting with the biggest con, the camera is just a trash, and it literally crashes every single time. It didn't happen at the few initial days, but once I started using this phone as my primary phone, I was so much annoyed, and it just reboots and crashes every single time. I always love taking pictures, and once this problem started happening, that was when I decided I must flash another ROM immediately. So that wraps it up for this video. I leave all the download links in the description down below. Do check that out and enjoy your custom ROM. So I'll be flashing another ROM immediately and I'll definitely let you know how that performs in my next video. So until then, stay subscribed and stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching. This year is Hari Haran from Gadgets Connector signing off and peace out. and i've been using this moto g3 which turned the camera blue back with another video after a very very long time i know that thanks to my college and exams <laughs>